Good afternoon and welcome to Sing Along Jam. My name is Miss Ashley. I'm a librarian with the San Mateo County Libraries. If you've been to the Pacifica Libraries before, you may have seen me there. But thank you for joining us today. We're going to sing some songs and read some stories about colors. Uh, before we begin, though, if you could take a few minutes to look around for some supplies. So if you've been with me before, you probably already know the drill. You may even have your supplies ready, but if not, it's really easy. Just go find some kind of a cloth, or it could be even a paper napkin or a paper towel, um, just or a washcloth, a blanket, something you can bundle up, kind of wave around. That's for our scarf songs that we'll do in just a little bit. And then also something to make noise with for our play along. So this is where you get to look around your house for something noisy, um, something to, it could be an instrument. And lots of things can be instruments. This is a really easy one. I'm going to do a, a project in a little bit with some salt. So this is a container of salt that makes a great shaker. Or you can bang on it like a drum. You can even find a toy that could be used in a different way. The speech ball can be a drum. You can find things that shake, like keys or a box to bang on. Use your imagination and play around with different things that make different sounds. And now we're going to get started with our first song, Lou. Our first song is We Bounce and We Bounce and We Stop. So this is a great song for warming up your body and your ears. We have to listen closely for the stops. Ready to bounce? We bounce and we bounce and we stop. Did you get the stop? We bounce, we bounce, we stop. Good job. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Very good. Let's try it again. I might get a little tricky this time. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, 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 we stop. Did it trick you? I like to trick you a little. Let's wiggle. We wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. We wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. We wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. Oh boy, I didn't get all the wiggles out. Let's do it one more time. I've got a few wiggles left in my neck. We wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. We wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. We wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. And now we're gonna tickle. You can tickle yourself, or your grown up, or your dog, or your stuffed animal. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we stop. And now let's lean. We lean, we lean, we stop. Don't fall over. Other way. We lean, we lean, we stop. We lean, we lean, we lean, we lean, we lean, we lean, we stop. Now let's hug yourself. That feels good. Or your grown up, or your brother or sister. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we stop. Good job. Let's bounce one more time really high. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Great job! That's a fun one to do at home with different motions. You can see if you can trip up your grown-ups or your brother or sister. Okay, usually I like to show one of the animals that lives in my house because I have quite a few. Today I'm going to show you a different instrument. So usually I play my ukulele, which is a Hawaiian instrument that looks a little bit like a guitar, and it has a hole in the middle. And why do you think it has a hole? Is it broken? No, it's supposed to have the hole because the hole makes the sound from the strings kind of echo. It makes it louder. But this instrument here is called a banjalele. So it's kind of like an ukulele, but it sounds like a banjo, which is a bigger instrument that looks like this. And if you'll notice, it does not have a hole, but that's because the head of it here is like a drum. And the 
drum makes it very loud and it also has a sound like a banjo. So I'm going to play this instrument for our next song, which is called Do You See the Color Blue? So we're going to look around the room and see if you see something in your room that's blue. Let's try it. Do you see the color blue, the color blue, the color blue? my blue shirt on of course and I have blue in this bracelet my daughter made for me and I have blue on my scarf for my scarf song. Did you find something blue? What did you find? Excellent! Let's look around now for something green. Do you see anything green? I see lots of things that are green outside my window but not as many in my room. Here we go. Do you see the color green, the color green, the color green? Do you see the color green somewhere in this room? Hmm. Well, I have my friend Bob here. He's our ficus tree, and he's got beautiful shiny green leaves. Look at that. And I have my friend Warbit. He's green. He's a frog. Say hi, Warbit. Warbit, Warbit. And I have my friend Alice the alligator. She's green. You see her? Isn't she beautiful? Yes, you are. And I think that's everything with green in my room. Did you find something green? I hope you don't have any alligators in your room. But maybe you do. I hope they're nice like Alice if you do. Let's look for one more color. Let's look for the color red. Do you have anything red in your room? Let's see. This funny little nesting doll here. It's a bear with a red sweater on. And I have this funny little bear that my daughter made out of pom-poms and it's got red ears. Did you find something red in your house? Very good. Uh, it's great looking around for colors. We're gonna, now that we've got our eyes warmed up, we're gonna read a book about something blue. Oops, it's something that I like to eat this time of year. Sorry, I'm just putting my banjo lily down. Something I like to eat this time of year that's blue. Can you think of this? Think of anything like that? It's not a blue popsicle or a blue lollipop, although I like those too. It is a blue berry. And before you read the next book, I'm going to teach you a sign in sign language. It's my favorite sign, and it's the sign for more. You put your fingertips together and put them together like this, like little beaks, and that's the sign for more. If you're going to learn one sign in sign language, this is one of the best ones to learn. My son used to use it before he could talk to say he wanted more, usually food, but sometimes toys or rides on the swing. It's a very useful thing to know. So we're going to read a book about more blueberries. And this is from Access 360 which is um, one of our collections of ebooks that you can get to on, on smcl.org. And, oops, I skipped ahead too much. Spoiler alert here. Sometimes this particular format is a little challenging. Do you remember the sign for more though? Now's a good time to practice. This one's called More Blueberries. Come on, book. You can do it, I know you can. You see those blueberries? So oh, let's count them. There's one, two, three. Hmm, what's going on with my book? It's not letting me go to the beginning. Well, we'll have to skip ahead. There we go. More blueberries. This is by Susan Musgrave and illustrated by Esperanza Mello and published by Orca Book Publishers. And look at all those blueberries. They look so yummy, they're falling from the sky. So you've got your sign for more ready, more blueberries. There they are, blueberry cheeks. Can you point to your cheeks? Blueberry chin. Blueberry.
blueberry teeth. You show your teeth? Look, her teeth are covered in blueberries. Blueberry grin. She's got blueberries all over her face. Blueberry fingers. Wiggle your fingers. Blueberry nose. Can you wiggle your nose? Yeah, that's harder to do. Blueberry lips. Can you make your lips go boom? boom, boom. That's fun to do. Blueberry toes. Can you wiggle your toes? That's making a big mess, isn't it? And Lucy the boy, what do you think he's saying? I bet I can guess what he's saying. He's saying yummy tasty more blueberries. Mmm, look at all these yummy things here. What do you think these are? Let's find out. Blueberry pancakes, my favorite. Blueberry mush. Blueberry muffins. Blueberry slush. I think those like a slushy or a milkshake. Blueberry ice cream. Blueberry cake. Blueberry tummy. Rub your tummy. Blueberry egg. Oh, I ate too many blueberries. Oh boy, look at that melty, melty blueberry ice cream. I've never had blueberry ice cream with you. Slurp. Can you slurp? Burp. More blueberries. Remember the sign for more? Well, look, she's drinking her blueberry drink. Cats chase blueberries, then lick their paws. When crows find blueberries, do you know what sound a crow makes? Caw! 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 There's our crow eating blueberries. Even our bearded dragon likes to eat blueberries. Frogs hop on blueberries. Can you hop? Pop, hop, pop. That's very messy. Don't hop on your blueberries at home. When bears gobble blueberries, blueberries plop. Can you make a plop noise with your hand? Plop. Meow. Can you make a cat noise? Meow. And a crow? Caw. And a frog? Ribbit. And a bear? Grr. More! Do that sign for more. Blueberries! Oh, this book is getting very messy. Yep, it's time for a bath, I think. And look, they're even eating blueberries in the bathtub. Blueberry bath time! Blueberry mess! Blueberry pants! Blueberry dress! Our clothes are all covered in blueberries. Blueberry jammies! Blueberry yawn! Blueberry bedtime, blueberries gone. Look, even their light switch has blueberries on it. No more blueberries. I think they finally had enough. I don't think I'll ever have enough, do you? Uh, it's time for our scarf songs, so gather up whatever your cloth you found. We're going to sing about a different food with a different color. We've done this song before. It's called Green Zucchini. So you can make your cloth into a zucchini and kind of stretching it out like this. Or if you want to get really fancy, you can roll it up to something long and thin because a zucchini is a long, thin, green squash. That's really yummy to eat this time of year. So we're going to hold our green zucchini and we're going to put it in different places. You ready? Green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Do you like it on your head? Yes, I like it on my head, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini, what I like the best. Where else shall we put our zucchini? Yes, on our nose. Can you put it on your nose? Do you like it on your nose? Yes, I like it on my nose, on my nose, on my nose, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Where else can we put our zucchini? Yes, on your ear, that's a great idea. Do you like it on your ear? Yes, I like it on my ear, on my ear, on my ear, on my nose, on my nose, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. I know where I'm going to put it. Do you like it on your 
belly button. Yes, I like it on my belly button, on your belly button, on my belly button, <laughs> on my hair, on my ear, on my nose, on my nose, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I the green zucchini, green zucchini is what I like the best. Great job, wave your zucchini. You can sing that song and put your zucchini in different parts of your body or you can sing about something else like pink and purple pizza or another food you like. So now we're gonna turn our magic scarf into a bird. And this is an old song called Little Bird, Fly Through My Window. So we're gonna make our scarf into a bird that flies and we can fly it around your body. Here we go, and it goes like this. Little bird, little bird, fly through my window. Little bird, little bird, fly through my window. Little bird, little bird, fly through my window. Fly molasses candy. Fly through my window, my sugar lump. Fly through my window, my sugar lump. Fly molasses candy. Now we're going to turn our bird into a bluebird. Have you seen those before? They're beautiful little birds. Bluebird, bluebird, fly through my window. Bluebird, bluebird, fly through my window. Bluebird, bluebird, fly through my window. Find molasses candy. Fly through my window, my sugar lump. Fly through my window, my sugar lump. Find molasses candy. And now we'll turn our bird, poof, into a cardinal, which is actually a bright red bird. My scarf will say blue, but I'm going to use my imagination and imagine it's a beautiful bright red cardinal. Cardinal, cardinal, fly through my window. Cardinal, cardinal, fly through my window. Cardinal, cardinal, fly through my window. Find molasses candy. Fly through my window, my sugar lump. Fly through my window, my sugar lump. Find molasses candy. And I encourage you to look out your window and see what kinds of birds you can see and find out what they are. We have beautiful yellow bird where we live in Pacifica called a goldfinch. It is really bright, bright, bright yellow. One of my favorites. All right, we have a last book which is about a, also a color, and it's also the color blue, and it's about a little girl who really only likes things that are blue. Do you know anybody like that? <laughs> it can be a little challenging when people only like one color, but that's what this little girl's doing right now. This one's called In a Blue Room. It's by Jim Averback and Trisha Tusa, published by Harcourt Children's Books. It's also from Access 360. Which you can get to again on smcl.org. So here's our little girl. And this is a bedtime story, so you can snuggle up with your blanket or your stuffed animal. In a blue room, Alice bounces. Look, she's got her cloth. You can hold your cloth up like that and bounce. You bounce with your cloth. Wide awake past bedtime. Oh dear, I know you guys never do that. Time for bed, Mama says, and I brought flowers for your room. I can only sleep in a blue room, says Alice. Blue is my favorite, and those aren't blue. Ah, but smell, Mama says. Can you smell? Mmm, can imagine those flowers smell amazing. In a blue room, lilacs and lily whites give off a gentle scent. Alice twirls around, can you twirl around? Plops down and breathes deep. Can you breathe deep with me? Big breathe in and breathe out. And imagine these white flowers with their very sweet smell. Mama returns with a steaming cup. Would you like some tea? Blue tea, says Alice. There's no such thing. Mama says, just taste. Can you take your cup of tea very carefully? It's very hot. We better blow and take a very careful sip. Mm. 
in a blue room, orange tea cools in a brown cup. Alice takes a sip. Can you take a sip again? Then rubs her drowsy eyes. I think she's getting sleepy. Mama brings an extra quilt. And you use your cloth and pretend it's a blanket covering you up with a quilt. It's silky, soft, and warm. It isn't blue, Alice says. Mama whispers, touch. You touch your cloth. In a blue room, a quilt of red and green feels warm and cozy. Alice snuggles up. Mama tiptoes in. I have lullaby bells to sing you to sleep. Blue, sighs Alice. Holy sleep, blue. Mama smiles. In a blue room, yellow bells on black strings chime softly in the window breeze. Alice yawns, the yawn, <gasps> almost gone. She's so sleepy. The moon, Mama, Alice murmurs. Mama whispers, here it comes. Click. She turned off the light. Off goes the lamp and in comes the moon. You see the moon shining through the window, bathing everything in its pale blue light. Sometimes at night, the moonlight makes everything look blue. Blue flowers, blue tea, blue quilt, blue bells, blue moon. The moon isn't really blue, it's white, but it's making everything look blue in the nighttime. And Alice, fast asleep. You see her there? Here's Earth in her little house, and there's the moon, and she's asleep in a blue room. So tiny. And that's in a blue room by Jim Averbeck. All right, well, it's time for our play along. So everybody gather up whatever instruments you found or things to make noise with. Your shakers and your drums out of boxes. We're going to do an old song called Sing a Rainbow. This is by Arthur Hamilton. You know, it's got lots of colors in it. It's a really pretty song. song, I want to leave you with a little project you can do at home. And as I mentioned before, this one involves some salt. There are lots of ways to do this. It's called salt painting. So one way to do it, it's really easy, is just to put some glue from a glue stick or a bottle of glue on a piece of dark paper. You can even draw a little picture. I'm going to draw a little circle just to show you my little circle of glue. Oops. Get back to my screen. So you see that circle of glue there? And then if I sprinkle some salt on here, <laughs> make sure you do this over some place where you can put the salt later. But when I dump this salt out, it makes a circle in the salt kind of like glitter, but a lot less messy and a lot easier to clean up. But since we were doing stories about color, I want to show you what you can do with that. So here's a white piece of paper. Oh, you can use other colors too. And then I'm going to get some food coloring, or if you have watercolor paint, that'll work really well. 
But if you don't have watercolor paint, but you do have food coloring, you can put some different colored food coloring in your little, in some cups of water. So here I have some yellow water with a little bit of food coloring in it. And some blue. Can you see the blue? And what's fun to do is to take a bottle of glue and just sort of spread it around on your paper. It's very fun to play with this kind of glue. <clears throat> My daughter Lily likes to put it on her fingers and make kind of a second skin that peels off. So once you have your glue, you can pour salt all over your page. See that? You can't see it very well because it's white salt on white paper, on white glue. But I'm going to pour it off. You can see it now. So this is white salt and it's sticking to the glue. And if I touch it with my fingers, it feels kind of like salt. It's very grainy. And then after I do that, I can take either a paintbrush or a Q-tip, a cotton swab, and dip it in my water with the color. And you see how it's turning blue? Or if I had my watercolor paints out, I could paint with those. You can kind of color it all around however you like and you can make different colors and it will dry only on the, the gluey parts. That's right, this light is a little bright. Can you see that there? It's a fun little project. You can do different colors. I'll do a little bit of yellow just to show you what yellow would look like too. I'm going to turn off this lamp and see if that makes it a little bit of spring. Can you see that? So it's sticking to my glue. I'm going to do some yellow from my yellow water. There's a little bit of a glare. And you see the yellow in the corner there? And the blue. The yellow is working really well. You can just paint it around in different places. It's a project that you could do for a long time and make whatever kind of picture you like. It doesn't have to look like anything in particular. It's just a pretty way to play with texture and color. Well, that's all the time we have, so let's quickly do our last song, which is Freight Train by Elizabeth Cotton and Elizabeth Mitchell. <laughs> Take our train anywhere. Here we go. Freight train, freight train, running so fast. Freight train, freight train, running so fast. Please don't tell our train how long so they won't know where I've gone. Let's go somewhere where there's lots of color, like the zoo. you are to sign up for our summer learning program by going to summerlearners.org. It's for all ages and uh, up through age 18 and you can um, win a thousand dollar college scholarship. So I hope you'll check it out at summerlearners.org and I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me.